And so, um, did my camera just die? Let's, yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, I, I can't see you then. How about now? Or Oh, yeah, no. there you are. Yeah, for some reason with uh, Discord and uh, Streamlabs, it's just like, nope, we're going to cut off all video feed because of it. Uh, <laughs> so after winning the series, how do you guys feel? Uh, good. I mean, it was, uh, I think it was obviously pretty stressful leading up to it and just throughout the series. But I think even after game one, we kind of knew like the progression of the, the series itself. So even though there was like a little bit of sloppiness in, uh, game three, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously feeling really good, pretty relatively clean overall. Okay. So now from the coaching perspective, obviously you're talking sloppiness in game three, uh, with watching, I did notice it was like, okay, you guys are kind of over aggressing a little bit just getting caught out um because obviously you were a player beforehand so how do you kind of like convey that slash coach around that i think it i think a lot of it had to do with just kind of calming each other down a bit i think we we felt like we needed to like cut corners a bit i would say and um you know we're in my mind we were the better team and we had the better players so there was no reason for us to really like try to overforce things um or overplay our cards or anything like that so i think in terms of conveying it to the players yeah it's just about calming people down making sure that we don't like like don't think too much of it i think we did uh we obviously did fumble a bit but going to the next game it's like we still are better than them you know mm -hmm. yeah ultimately it did look like game four had a little bit of a slower pace and that they kind of were just trying to be more aggressive um mm. Now, was there anything that, because I'm assuming that you guys had scrims before this, like leading up, um, was there anything that you guys saw in scrims that you didn't really see come out or vice versa? Um, I mean, I, because the playoffs is like on a new patch, there, of mm -hmm. course, there's going to be like a little more testing and um, just all teams are going to be trying to figure out the meta uh, and it will slowly evolve probably over time in the playoffs, but... I mean, you know, I can't really say what we saw or what we really did, but I don't think anything like surprises too much in terms of what happened today, uh, in terms of draft. Okay, because I think I was I was talking to Hanser yesterday, and he was like, "Oh, we weren't really expecting that." I think it was with Aatrox, mm. and so that's kind of what led to that question. <laughs> right, right, um, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. So, what led you into being a coach? Um, well, <laughs> I think part of it is just being a player for so long. I think, well, A, you know, I got worse over time. So naturally, it's like I can't be a player anymore. But um, outside of that, I think just being a player for a long time, it kind of made me want to, I mean, I felt like I had a pretty good um, personality for it. And then as well as just I didn't have great, like great coaching staffs when I was being a player and I think that would have helped me grow a lot and I kind of just try to think of myself as or try to think of that and try to apply that to you know whatever player I'm working with or players I'm working with so right it makes yeah, I think it's part of it you have the game knowledge but like you said the skills were decaying kind of and yeah yeah my hands it. were falling off I was turning <laughs> 25 yeah, yeah I mean I'm over here at 32 and still playing so <laughs> that's crazy but I know with uh I don't know how much you followed like the LCK LPL. I know like competitively aspect, but with Faker and his wrist injury or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you kind of like manage with the physical fatigue with the players? Um, I think it depends. It depends on the players, and I think it's. I think when you're playing, it's really hard to think about it. I think you're mm -hmm. so invested into the game that your actual health comes, you know, like it's second to League of Legends, right? Or even third. Right. <laughs> so I think it's just about being preemptive. And I know teams now have a lot more like support staff, uh, even for like health or mental health, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps a lot. Uh, just even just doing stretches every day for, for wrists and stuff like that is going to help a lot. And um, I mean, I'm sure you can ask players and throughout everyone's career, most likely you've, they've probably had some kind of wrist pain or whatever. And that will just be kind of a, like a shock, uh, you know, um, 
what's the word uh, a wake up call you know yeah. to be like oh maybe i should be taking care of myself right mm -hmm. so yeah I, I like like i said i think a lot of the orgs have been doing a good job of actually getting support staff for that now because before like nobody it was just you're on your own right yeah um so i know earlier this split there was the whole like push for the undercard or not you know what i mean by undercard like the minor league ones for the oh the like the talent yeah 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 uh what were your takeaways or thoughts on that uh i'm sorry so the push like, for you, the... what were your thoughts on having a challenger series and like because i know uh i think it was a song that was like having that uh level of play helps funnel like new players into mm, the organization okay. and... just just having an academy team basically is what you're asking right um uh yeah i think i mean having a secondary league or academy league i think is is going to be beneficial will always be beneficial it obviously sucked that it was it didn't get you know it wasn't cut completely but it was made not na mandatory from riot <laughs> um therefore like you know, a lot of the teams cut their academy team, and I think it is a it is a huge it is a huge part of bringing in new blood. Like mm -hmm. you have, I mean, a good example is our team. We had Dokla and Palafox, who were both in the academy and then eventually moved up, right? And if we don't have if we don't have like a support staff for them, then we're just not going to get n new players. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I think it is. I, I mean, I I think it's important, and I, I wish. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I guess I wish things were a little bit different, but yeah. I get it. All right, some uh, two league questions, but not like Challenger Series questions. Um, who are some of your favorite champions, and what got you into the game? Uh, favorite champions? Um, I mean, I like Ezreal, Varus, probably my top two. Um, and I don't know. Maybe Kogma. Kogma's up there for sure. Uh, but what got me into the game, I played Dota for however many years. I think ever since I was in like, I don't know, fourth grade or something, fifth grade. Um, but yeah, I started very young when I was playing like Dota Warcraft 3. And then when uh, I tried to play, well, yeah, I eventually started to play League because my brother um, wanted to play in some tournament, like, lo like LAN tournament. And they needed a, a fifth player. So, yeah. Then I was like, okay, I'll try it. So there's a fly here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so then I played it. And then, yeah, I was kind of hooked ever since. I was kind of joked. Did your brother ever get the GoPro? Or? <laughs> no, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but he's a huge inspiration. <laughs> okay. So that was actually going to lead into another question of who, were, or who are some of your inspirations, both as players and coaches, uh, for League? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I was playing, or, you know, when I first started playing, I obviously watched, I mean, it was, um, what, OGN, right? OGN at the time. Um, so I did watch a lot of, like, the OGN pros, L LCK, at, at, you know, it is now. Um, so, honestly, I think I watched Death the most, and maybe, like, Piglet, Bang, Arrow, and, like, that that era. Mm -hmm. um, I, I watched the LCS pros as well, but it, I feel like I didn't really... Like I mean, it was pretty clear at least by the time I was playing that we weren't as good as the <laughs> the other regions. So they uh, they were definitely like the biggest like you know yeah inspirations. And obviously having supportive family members helped a lot too. Like I was mentioning both my brothers. So yeah, I was gonna joke if you were facing Piglet era <laughs> Liquid with eight as eighties. Yeah, yeah. Think the game I mean, I did play versus them. So. <laughs> I think he at one point said that I wasn't very good, but you know. <laughs> Ouch. Well, so I'll rephrase the question: If Piglet was on Liquid today, oh okay, okay. Back when he, right after he left SKT, do you think it would have been a different game? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the, the <laughs> thing is, like, the, <laughs> um, probably not. I think they would have done worse. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's just that's how league league is, you know. Like, if you look at league you know what five years ago like we're gonna all say that the, their play was not very good you know um not that like the teams were bad but like the yeah just the level of league has elevated throughout mm -hmm. the years all right so non-league questions uh what are some or what are some of your go-to hobbies when not playing league uh well playing league is one and <laughs> um i don't know I, I mainly play video games and stay inside i think 
played tennis a little bit this year, but not very much. Um, yeah, I've been playing TFT too, um, but don't tell anyone that. <laughs> I mean, you're not the first one to say that. I think uh, Svetskaren said he played some TFT and. Uh, no. Oh, the two v two mode is pretty cool. I haven't played too much, but it is pretty cool. The arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's two questions that come to mind. With TFT, is there any uh, composition that you like more than one another? <laughs> I've, I I kind of one trick like challengers or Ionian challengers, so okay. you know, <laughs> not too much thinking going on. Um, the second question is not League of Legends or TFT. What are some of the games mm. that you like to play? I mean, just throughout, you know, I guess my, <laughs> I mean, throughout my career, I guess, if you will, I, I did play a lot of WoW. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just an on and off thing. Uh, that's just how it works, I guess. But honestly, I, I, yeah, I usually stick with those three or even two, if anything, um, which is kind of, bland but you know there's nothing wrong with that uh, I, I i think whenever i try i mean because right now like shooters is very i mean it's been the for the past like i don't know how long but shooters has been very um prominent popular yeah. and i'm not very good at them so i just don't play them that brings up a cool question you guys i believe they're having you guys play in the valorant studio correct uh yeah or the so. valorant is playing in our studio, you know, whichever way you Vice want to Vice versa, yeah. <laughs> um, so is it kind of like a different atmosphere for the players slash for the coaching staff to kind of get used to, or is it just an arena? Well, it's the, the, I mean, it's all the same from like, even when I was playing, right? It's all, it's all the same, but they did change the setup for the players like on stage. So they're like facing each other now. Mm -hmm. um, I, they did like, you know, just brief, like, intro to it they did say they were like oh this kind of feels weird like it's kind of funny but i think they got they got you know used they got it. normalized like i think they just got used to it um it is pretty cool though I, I do like their setup i would say it's more consistent with like the whole msi slash worlds feel because yeah, you do normally yeah. face your opponent right right yeah no i agree with that I, I i like it it looks cool um favorite anime and movie and it can be <laughs> it can be multiple um, if you can't pick I don't one. really I don't really watch too much anime. I, I don't think I can really firmly say that I have a favorite one. Um but in terms of favorite movie, probably The Dark Knight or The Prestige. Okay. Um shout outs to Christopher Nolan. <laughs> okay. Ironically I was almost in the Dark Knight Rises, so I Oh really? That. I mean I like that movie too, but the second one, you know, just trumps it a little bit. <laughs> where the uh, where the stadium collapses from Bane blowing it up. Right, right, yeah, that's Dark Knight Rises, yeah. That's a good one. Um favorite foods. Uh <laughs> sushi, burgers and burritos. Um so these questions have been more like the generic questions cuz not everyone yeah. wants to read about gaming and stuff, obviously. <laughs> um favorite music genre and artists mm, i don't know i kind of listen to like just pop like pretty basic stuff i uh, i don't think i have i have a wide variety of genre that i i don't even think i could really list all of them <laughs> it's okay i know with uh hanser yesterday he was talking about how he was learning guitar with the blues and like uh, so bb okay. king nat cole um, oh yeah, John yeah. Mayer kind of stuff. Right, so, right. Give you an idea. I think recently, I don't know what uh, what album I was listening to. Uh yeah, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, you'll get be the first one to get this question. But was there one player in the league at the time that you considered like a rival when you played? Um, I don't really think I had a rival, although, I mean, you know, you mentioned Piglet before, and like I said, he didn't have the greatest thing to say about me in his interview. <laughs> I mean, so that helped, you know, that was, it sparked a rivalry at the time. I think it, even, if, even if it was, you know, more so fake, mm -hmm. but outside of that, like, I think I played versus, you know, I played versus Double Lift and Sneaky a lot. So it was, it wasn't, I wouldn't call it a rivalry because I mean, it, you know, it just wasn't, but just, playing versus them it always felt like 
you know, there was just, you know, elevated level of performance, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was... Who did uh, Liquid lose to? The uh, the one where Piglet was crying on stage after they lost? <laughs> well, that was... Um, was it TSM, I think? Or uh, Sam- was, wait, wasn't that Samsung, like, Worlds thing, or no? No, it was a, um NA LCS one. Oh, okay. I, I, I got nothing. I, I don't it's remember. It's okay. It's too far back. <laughs> it's like 2016, I think, so... All yeah, good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Of course. All right. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. You too, man. See ya.